Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you are doing so very well. It's been a hot minute since I filmed. I haven't filmed since I moved at the beginning of May, hence my new shelf setup. I've got a ton of videos in the queue that I just haven't had the energy to edit and so I haven't filmed. And that's just where I am at in life, just a lot of things going on. Today I'm back for a very important reason and that is The Reading Rush, which was formerly known as Booktubeathon. I thought I'd do a quick little video to share my TBR with you, what I'm planning on reading. If you don't know anything about Reading Rush, it is a readathon for a week where there are challenges. This year Raylene and Ariel have a ton of stuff happening. There's a website where you can create a profile. There's video challenges. There's Twitter sprints. There is everything that you could ever want. I will link all the information down below if you want to last minute jump in on this. I don't think I'm planning on doing the video challenges. Last year I said maybe I will do just a mass video challenge at the end of the week and I might try to do that this this year, but I just have a lot going on in my life. I have a wedding this week and I'm meeting with my book club this week. So there's just not a lot of room for filming every day in my current life of working full time and having a life. But I'm still going to be reading and trying to do all the reading challenges. So let's talk about the books I'm reading. For Read a Book with Purple on the cover, I am reading When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLemore. I've heard great things about this. I know there's quite a bit of magical realism in this that probably veers more towards magic. One of the characters can grow roses out of their wrists. I just know it's a little bit fantastical, a lot going on. There's some maniacal plot happening, something. I've heard great things. I love Anna Marie McLemore's writing and obviously it's got a lot of purple on the cover so that's why I picked it. For read a book in the same spot the entire time, I have An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. Coincidentally, this is my book club book. You know how I said I was going to my book club on Thursday? This is the book that we're reading. For the past couple months, I've made it a habit of not reading the book for for book club until the week of book club and I was gonna read this this weekend but then I got caught up in rereading Six of Crows and trying to finish Crooked Kingdom before Reading Rush started and so reading this just didn't happen so I'm making it a reading rush book. It doesn't fit in any of the other categories. This is the only one it fit in, so here we are. For read a book you meant to read last year, I have A Jellicoe Road by Melina Marchetta. I don't know that I actually planned to read this last year, but I know I've been planning to read this for a while, so I'm just counting it. I honestly don't remember what I took off of my TBR last year. That was like a year ago. That's so long ago. I've slept since then. I don't remember, but I have been meaning to read this book for a while, so that's why I picked it. For reading author's first book, I have have the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. This debut has been getting a lot of hype, a lot of buzz. I've seen a couple mixed things about the hype and buzz, but it's short and it's pretty and it sounds great and a little bit spooky. Anything that's fairy tales, whether they are Disneyified or creepy, I'm into it. I'm here for it. Also, this one was one of the hardest books to find because I'm always second guessing myself on if a book is an author's actual first book and I was trying to stick to books I already owned. An American Marriage is the exception to that. I had a different book for that, but obviously we know what happened. So if this isn't her first book for some odd reason, we're just gonna pretend that it is. For read a book with a non-human main character, I have Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. This was the hardest challenge to find a book for. A lot of people gave me great recommendations on Twitter. However, I was looking for something I already owned. I'm just trying to read through all the books I already own that I haven't got rid of. I'm trying to get through them and for some reason I have not read Bloodlines yet. I loved the Vampire Academy series. There's still some issues with it that I feel like I didn't fully express when I read them the first time. Like a teacher and student relationship, it's not a good time. But the writing is very addictive. I really like the characters and I really like the characters that this spin-off series is based off of and it's about vampires so I count. Next is read a book with five or more words in the title and for that I have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. No, I have not read this book yet. I know everyone has been talking about how amazing it is, how much they loved it for years, and I still haven't read it. So now is the time. It's the moment reading Turtles All the Way Down for Reading Rush. And last up is read and watch a book to movie adaptation. For that, I have John Dies at the End by David Wong. This is a book I've owned for years because I was like, eventually I'm gonna read it. It sounds really weird, really out there, really interesting. And I was like, I'm gonna read it. It's gonna happen. Now is the moment. It's one of the longest books that I picked for Reading Rush. I'm really intrigued by it. I'm really intrigued by the movie, even though apparently it's not that great. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's gonna happen. I'm excited. And that's it. That's my TBR for Reading Rush. I will be hosting some reading sprints over on the Reading Rush Twitter on Friday. 
Friday night. So come join me, come have fun. It's always a great time. I do a lot of Disney gifs and references. I've been doing it for the past couple book two -thon reading rushes and I love it so much. It's so much fun. Let me know down below if you are participating in the reading rush and if so, what book you are most excited to read this week. We got so much reading ahead of us and I'm so excited. Reading forever, reading rush, yes. Go us, we can do it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. I have a adaptation from